such a good talk that Amanda gave, I'm just going to put a little bit of icing on the cake she baked here. Uh, happy birthday to Medicare. Originally envisioned by President Harry Truman as national health insurance for all Americans, Medicare was signed into law in 1965, covering people 65 years or older. This was later expanded to cover people with chronic disability and those on hemodialysis. It has proven to be a popular and cost-effective program. Unfortunately, it has also proven to be an attractive target for private companies seeking to increase their profits. In 2003, so-called Medicare Advantage programs were added, turning over the management of health care to private companies. Studies have shown that Medicare Advantage programs cost the federal government more than traditional Medicare. A large number of patients switched from Medicare Advantage to traditional Medicare in their last, years of life, last year of life, suggesting that the program does not uh, meet the needs of patients requiring complex and expensive care. When I was in full-time practice, I was always concerned when a patient with Medicare Advantage was referred to me, knowing that it would be a struggle to get them the treatment they needed. A recent major threat to Medicare is the REACH program, which would allow for-profit case management companies to interfere in the health care of traditional Medicare beneficiaries. These companies would deny medical treatment ordered by physicians and would be allowed to keep a large portion of the money that should have been spent on patient care. And I will add that uh, the uh, current, under current law, the insurance companies can keep only 15% of their revenues and profits, but under the REACH program, this would be expanded up to 40%. That means only 60% of the money that's paid would, would actually go towards buying health care. Uh, Medicare patients could be enrolled without their consent and could not leave the case management program without switching their primary care providers. Shame. Yeah, so that's all uh, fight against the REACH program. Um, efforts to turn Medicare into a program run by private companies needs to be stopped. Need to be stopped. Physicians for a National Health Program is an organization of physicians and others advocating for universal public health insurance. Virtually all other developed nations already have such a system in place. And I can tell you from personal experience how embarrassing it is to talk to a friend from Australia or Germany and see the shock in their eyes when they hear that medical bills are the leading cause of bankruptcy in the United States. Our goal is to return to the original vision of Medicare as national health care for all Americans. <laughs> Physicians for a National Health Program stands for Improved Medicare for All, an insurance program that is nonprofit, single payer, and federal. Thank you. Thank you.